What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new, and honey, I am back in the building. Listen, listen, this time, honey, I am back for a part two of Miss Melody Cherie dragging the content creator, honey, Mr. A.L., Honey, Mr. Anthony Lofties, honey. Ooh, child, that Melody, honey, dragged that man around the corner and back. And honey, Miss Robinson was here for it. Okay, because it's very much so you guys giving Mariah Carey and J-Lo, like, I don't know you. Okay, it's even giving a little Miss Van, I don't do ghetto. Okay, the ghetto. <laughs> like, why are you so obsessed uh, with somebody you don't even know? You using their followers. Okay, you use your, no, you use Melody's followers to build your platform. Now you're trying to turn those very followers against her and she's supposed to sit back and let you do that. What type of simple, uh, stupid shiggity is that? Okay, like who does that? Okay. It, this is very much so giving a lifetime movie character. Okay, this is definitely the LMN channel, honey. At, at this here point, all I need is some popcorn, gummy bears, and a small Pepsi, honey. Okay. But child, let's let's get to the bottom of this, cause something don't look right, honey. Miss Robinson go have to uh hear what Melody got to say, honey. Melody put up. Okay, and she is parked. And she is going in on his ass, okay, with no Vaseline, honey. Okay, shout out to Ice Cube. Damn. <laughs> now go prepare for y'all's hand trip. I was hosting. I said I'm hosting today, babes. I was somewhere else hosting an event. Quit trying to keep up with what I'm preparing for, where I'm at, and what I'm doing. That's how I felt. Then he come in and on this reel right here. Y'all remember when I did that reel? Boom, boom, boom. Get it, girl. Ow, ow, ow. Get it, girl. Ah, 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 ah. He said, you should let me do some wardrobe transitions for you. I don't need you to do no wardrobe transitions for me. I didn't ask you to do no wardrobe transitions for me. But you stalking everything that I'm doing. You come in and on here and said, you should let me do wardrobe transitions for you. Childy stalkers. I know about it because I had somebody uh, do that to me. They copied every damn thing I was doing, any business ideas. They tried to be cool with my enemies. They, you know, would run back and tell me what folks said. Okay, about me as if Miss Robinson give a damn. I don't give a damn what them people got to say. They are beneath me. They are on the first floor. Okay, these people these days, honey, I told y'all people is crazy. That's why Miss Robinson stay with her sunglasses. I don't even look these demons in the eye. You can't even make eye contact with these people. Okay. These people today is crazy. They are obsessed. And if they have any little bit of proximity to you, they feel like they owe you something. Y'all had that annoying, obsessed coworker that stay all up in your business. And then if you don't let them all up in your business, they try to uh, get you in trouble, try to get you fired. I done had some of them. Okay, it's a crazy world. Okay, Melody, girl, honey, you gonna have to stay prayed up, honey. Them demons is after you. It's bad enough you gotta deal with the damn demons on the damn show. Okay, and, and that ain't even including hook at it. Okay, damn. Okay. Okay. Now, I've been being nice. I've been being friendly. I've been being kind. As y'all can see from the DMs, it ain't no, let me tell y'all something, ain't no receipt of nothing pertaining to me that can come from this. If y'all go over there and pay for whatever, for whatever y'all want to pay for, y'all is crazy. I'm just saying. Because this is the only conversation we've had. I never talked to Anthony on the phone. Never met Anthony. I don't really even know him. But all I know is he has continuously come for me over the past few months. And again, and listen, everybody ain't got to like you and that's okay. But it's obvious whenever you are intentionally, first of all, you took, you got my followers, my people on your channel. And then you're going to attack the person that they all love how they even know you anyway. Y'all don't think that's weird? 
That's a smear campaign. Because it is. That's weird. Now, Houston trip. I'm not going to say too much about a Houston trip because I'm going to tell y'all the same thing I told another young lady. And I'll tell anybody, I don't care, friend or not. Anyone who is giving out information before this work hard to get picked up and on the network who's leaking information, okay, to potentially cause people to not watch the show to see what happens, I don't fool with you. Don't, I'm not fooling with you. And I told another young lady this too because I needed to be clear. I don't move like that. Now, Houston trip, let me go on and say this. He got up there on his line. And I pulled up on his Instagram, if y'all remember. He got up there on his line. And look, if he had to just ask the question, would y'all hold Mel accountable if she did something? Let me just see. If, if Mel did something, I remember would that. Would y'all let her know what's up? I wouldn't have had a problem with that. It was the, <laughs> if, if Mel did something. What? It was that. Would y'all hold her accountable? What? It was, it was the dramatics for me. To make my people start DMing me. Asking me, girl, what you done did? Because that's what happened. So now you're playing with my fan base at this point. If Mel, hold on, y'all. I got to take this call. Uh -oh. I'm going to end the live. What? Shut up. <laughs> shut up. I'm not going to spill too much on it, but I ain't did nothing. That's the funny thing about it. <laughs> and I know where that came from because I know whenever people are upset, angry, and they make a phone call. And you feel the hurt or the pain in their voice, and then it affects you. That's just like I can sit and watch somebody cry, and I'll start crying because they cry. We we all not everybody. Some of y'all stone cold, but uh, Melody, I gotta correct you because uh, I kind of thought about that scene when Martell was um was he crying in the scene you know them damn demons honey you could never tell but remember that scene when they was in the therapist's office and she felt bad for him that would have never been me i'm sorry call me look i was cold as ice long ago and still is still is okay shout out to rick james bitch Okay, but yeah, I just, I'm not feeling bad. You can't feel bad for everybody. I see what she's saying, but I remember in that scene, she was just like, yeah, you know, you you would have to be a heartless person to not feel bad for the person that you spent all these years with. Shit, I, I wouldn't feel bad at all after he didn't did all that shiggity to me. Nigga wouldn't be able to get a squirt of pee out of Miss Robinson. You ain't get no damn tear. I would have just sat there. I wouldn't have even been in no therapy with him. Damn the co-parenting. Ain't no co-parenting with a damn narcissist. Okay, let me get up off of that. But yeah, I don't be crying though with everybody. Just some people. Okay, some, you know. Some of y'all, you know. No, he no. didn't. That is very weird. Oh, and you really trying to like use her likeness. Child. Anthony got a die so like he obsessed with me the way that I am. <laughs> no, to the point again where you trying to make my people think that I have done somebody so badly. I don't like that. Yeah, I, like that. I don't I like that. It. Well, I did because I put up on your Instagram and said something about it. But I'm just trying to understand the people who's still over there watching and falling through the shenanigans, like falling for the shenanigans. I'm just wondering what everybody's seeing. Like, what are y'all thinking? You know. Um. So, speaking of y'all, he's so disrespectful to y'all. So disrespectful. I know that when y'all start talking um, in a positive way about me, he goes loop down in the chair. <sighs> Oh, he upset like that? But he used he used you to get followers to build his platform. Now he don't want nobody speaking good about you. But that's these narcissistic demons. I dealt with the same thing with this uh person. 
you know, like this person that I knew, they would, you know, get all in their feelings, frown, okay, roll their eyes, suck their teeth whenever, hell, I was saying some positive things about myself whenever I was talking about my accomplishments, uh-huh, looking at me all crazy. Now, this is the same person that was copying all my ideas. So I, I wreck it. Look, I wreck it size what Melody is talking about. This shit is real. Yeah, that's a demonic spirit. They copy you. They're obsessed with you, but they hate you. And this same person, guess what they did? They stalked me and think I don't know about it with your crazy ass. Okay. Crazy as hell. Psycho. Okay. What? Y'all keep letting this boy be disrespectful to y'all, this little boy? Like, are y'all doing that? Y'all paying, y'all giving him money, watching his content, okay? But as soon as y'all talking good about me, he getting up, walking around, leaving out like that. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, y'all still talking, mm. getting down, laying on the couch, laying on the couch. Wow. And let me go and say this too. Mm. And see, I got two more points to make. Now I'm hopefully gonna go. Rita said I should be an evangelist over there. That's okay. Um, I'm a great storyteller. I just I pay I put details in. Um, now my manager Dawn Michelle. When everything went down with her, it was hard for me not to say anything because I love her. When I say I love Dawn, I love Dawn. Ain't nothing nobody can ever come tell me about. Let me tell you something. Dawn would give up her life for me, and I know that for a fact. I love Dawn Michelle. Dawn Michelle is the person who picked me up when that and made me keep working when I ain't when I was broken, when I was betrayed, when I was hurt, when my marriage was ending. Dawn was right there, just like my mama was right there. Dawn was right there. Ain't nothing nobody can ever do or say that's gonna break up me and Dawn Michelle. Now I know Dawn's heart. Dawn is like me. She always trying to help people. If she knows somebody or try, she gonna try to connect you. She gonna try to do all that. That's how Dawn is. That's how she is. I know her. I've seen her do it with so many people. There's another content creator who's in a whole movie because of Dawn. That's just what she does. She did me the same way. Okay, man. Well, let me see if I know. Okay, well, let me see if I can get you over here. Well, let me. That's just her. Mm-hmm. She's a sweet, gentle-hearted person. And the fact that what pissed me off, but I ain't say nothing. I sat back for a minute because I don't move till I feel I'm letting my spirit move till God say go. You was recording this lady's conversations with you. Y'all yep. think this weird? That I covered that. I thought that that was weird. It was obsessive. Um, it looks like he has a need to make enemies. Like he's supposed to be making friends, but instead, you know, he's just making all these enemies. That says a lot, you guys, about a person's character. So, oh, this just does not like sound good at all. It is. I didn't know it was this bad. I I knew it was bad, but not this damn bad. Wow. I'm just blown away, you guys. Wow. You already watch Melody go through hell on the show and you go, you know, do all this stuff to her. Damn, and the what make it so bad with these people, you guys, you ain't did shiggity to them. You ain't did nothing to them, and they'll just turn on you like that, okay? That mask, because they don't wear the same mask, okay, all the time. The mask that they come in, in, you know, that's not the same one at the end. They'll be all nice and friendly and supportive and they'll love buying you, buying you stuff, inviting you places. And then towards the end, after they didn't got what they wanted, they smearing your name, turning people against you, trying to make you question and doubt yourself. They hate you. Okay. Like, child, ooh. Y'all don't think that's weird. Y'all don't think that's weird to be recording conversations of somebody. And this way, y'all, everybody. I'm here recording. Now, I'm not, now, I'm not the only person I'm saying. I'm sitting back now and recording my ex. Because <laughs> I have to, because y'all wouldn't believe half the stuff. But other than that. 
shit. We believe in shit. He had you in that burning house. Okay, we we believe it. We done seen him act a damn fool. People just out here randomly recording though? That's weird and disrespectful. But see, you've been trying to get close to my camp for a while because let me tell y'all this, you wanted to interview Jay Bowling. You put a flyer up to interview Blair. What? My swimsuit cover. Oh, I know Blair. Then you want to interview him. Damn. Okay. You tried to interview Did y'all try to interview my mama? Have y'all noticed that? Not your mama. What you say about my mama? Okay, but Miss Van turned his ass down and was like, honey, I don't do ghetto. <laughs> never been on his channel. Never. I've never done an interview on his channel. My mother has never done an interview on his channel. My brother has never done an interview on his channel. Okay? And I'm going to put this out. So I was mad with the Dawn thing because I'm like, but I calmed myself down. Okay? I calmed myself down. All right? Dawn handled it a little bit, but how dare you? That lady didn't do nothing for you. You didn't start advertising them teeth she helped you get till she said something about it in the Queen Sheba interview. Then all of a sudden you want to throw a video up, which is what you were supposed to do when she first got you them teeth. And she... Really quick, like, she got him some teeth too? Some teeth for sis? Damn! And, and Dawn didn't even know that you had been coming on my lives. Let me tell you something. I go live randomly, so I don't message Dawn and say, hey Dawn, I'm going live today. I just randomly go live. So Dawn's never really on my lives anyway. So she didn't know. My mom said she interviewed with him. Okay, well mama, you interviewed... Well, I'm going to tell what you didn't do. So, it was something you didn't do. I know what it is. Thank you for correcting me. Um, Dawn, Brittany, quit distracting me talking about the teeth. Dawn um, helped you get them darn teeth. She didn't even know you knew me. Well, she didn't know until she started seeing like them answers you were sending her back talking about Melody encouraged you to get a YouTube channel. So, how do you have all these positive things to say about a person, but then you sit back and just keep attacking them? And that's my problem, is that you kept going, coming, and coming, and coming, and I've been sitting back, not even, you've been fighting with yourself. Not yourself. Then you want to do that video, what you were supposed to do to for the doctor anyway, who fixed your teeth, okay? But when you came from my manager, you didn't put that out there. Out there. First of all, how do you come from somebody who's helping you? Hey, I'm just going and any of y'all over here that has had a problem with people on this show coming from me that I've helped, you need to have a problem today. Child, it, it looked like a pattern of behavior. Okay, we already got to worry about Latifa. We got Kimmy, hater Scott. Okay, grant my ass. We got Martell hookheaded ho. He got his ugga booga coming at Melody. And, and now you follow the pattern of these same people. But that's what happened to me, you guys. This person literally heard about, you know, what some people had did to me in the past. And they did the same thing. That's why you got to be careful about what you, you know, tell others. OK, because they'll be like, yeah, what happened with y'all? What happened? And the whole time they're thinking, yeah, because I want to do it to you, too, bitch. They're evil like that. Yeah, I'm going to do the same damn thing that they did. But I am a big believer, you guys, and you reap what you sow. You see what's happening to Diddy. OK, and karma will come for that ass. Maybe a year later, five years. Hell, maybe even 10. But baby, it's coming. Okay, I didn't watch people treat me like a damn dog and they had to answer, honey, to Miss Karma, honey. Okay. Straight like that. Because me, my team, what have we done to this young man? I don't even know him. Okay, now. <clears throat> and I know some of y'all are like, man, don't get him no clicks and views. Baby, he been getting clicks and views off of me already. Y'all didn't see my picture up on a flight on something that had nothing to do with me. What? What really happened between Melody and me? I was confused. I'm like, well, goddamn, what's that? Well, I can't wait. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> and it was all about my manager wow so he's already using me for clicks and views i don't care nothing about no he's in a competition with her that's another thing these people do they need to compete with you turn people against you demonic spirits okay that's what they do they will start out praising you okay all y'all to hit my DM. He just wants some attention. He don't click some views. Anybody clicking and viewing, shame on y'all at this point. He ain't got no receipts on nothing on me. I'm going to tell y'all that right now because I just went through the whole thread on Instagram. It ain't nothing to have on me. I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know him. <laughs> so don't think he's going to release no recording with me. I've never talked to him on no telephone. I don't know him. But I do know you was talking to my makeup artist. You was trying to get into bed with him, wasn't you? What? You were. Yes, you were. Oh, hell no. Nah. Okay. Damn. 
him just when I just when I thought this could get no worse. Say what now? Trying to get it. And that's another thing. They like to love bomb people with sex. They always want to have sex real quick with people. Okay. That's what these type of personalities do. So, ooh. Because he told me when you hit him up, yes, you were. Her your work. makeup but artist. trying to infiltrate my camp. Yeah. If this makes him want to be Melody so bad like I ain't never seen before, my God. You going to the pan attention to the rest of my shop, you met in Huntsville. You come to Huntsville, go interviewing the people, interviewing the people who are on my show. You uh going to the places I eat, trying to choose the states I choose. Ah! Oh, child, they saying in the comments, it's giving single white female in this case, but black. I know that's right. I say single black gay male. Okay, that's what it's giving. This is pathetic. And you really have to feel sorry for these people because they should be embarrassed by their raggedy behavior, child. Oh, child, this is bad, honey. You gonna tell my makeup on? If we want to talk about people, we can stuff to the show. Because I'm going to go shut this down. If we want to, my mommy is on here. Hopefully she came on back. Because she could validate it in the comments. It's going to tell my makeup artist. If she want to talk about people, we can stuff on the show. <laughs> well, this such and such ain't the only person who can leave stuff. Because um, I got emails from her mother. So let me go and shut this down real quick. Because see, you came for my mama, my boy. But I still didn't say nothing to you or give you no attention. Because I was trying to do the don't give him no attention. But you came for my mama. You thought you were going to put my mama in some bullshit? A bull, bull crap? So let me go and say this. You emailed my mother. Okay? You emailed my mother. I guess you got her email from the website. I don't know. Don't matter. But you emailed my mom. I'm so sorry for everything y'all going through. I'm praying for you. See, that's how you come in. Yeah. Like right there. See, I already put my mom on game by that point. Then you said something on your YouTube, I guess, about coming to a book event she was having in Huntsville. Damn. Like, you there. She didn't want you there. So you know what she told you? Oh, no, I'm not hosting this one. I'm not doing this one. I'm just one of the authors who's going to be there. Um, You know, maybe you can come to another one that I'm going to have. It may be filmed in whatever month it was. Child, my mama hadn't even talked to no production about filming no books. She didn't have no another book event set up either. She just didn't want you over there. She just didn't want you there. That's what that was. And you probably got mad. See, all of this is coming from a fatal attraction with an obsession, with a nobody's giving you attention and nobody's giving you what you want. That's what it's all coming from. So my mother being the kind person she is, because y'all know my mama's sweet. She's real kind until you, like me, I go a little quicker than she will, but, you know, you push her. Other than that, she's real kind. She was like, oh, no, you know, um, I'm not hosting this one. I'm just one of the authors, so maybe you can come to the one that I'm going to have. I think she said May or June <laughs> that I'm actually going to be hosting that's going to be filmed. Child, my mama hadn't even talked to no production about filming no other event. It wasn't no another book signing set up with my mama. It wasn't no scheduled filming of no book signing with my mama. She just didn't want you there. That's a damn shame. I mean, went on your page and made people feel like it's other people who've been leaking. If we want to talk about leaking scenes, it's other people who... I knew who you were talking about the whole time because my makeup artist, keeping his ear to you, already told me what you told him. But again, I just been sitting back chilling. I said eventually the melody doesn't figure it out. They gonna figure it out. They gonna see. Because all of that falling out every time y'all talk back good about me, all of that acting like he ain't interested when y'all speaking positively about me. I seen it. I was wondering, like, I, and I thought to myself, like, I thought he liked her, you know, but that's, that's what I, you know, tell y'all about me. I'm not like that. You know, I like people, but I'm not going to be up their ass. I'm not going to be acting all fanned out, obsessed, and I'm not going to be doing all of that. It's not worth it. That's not a part of my character. Do you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, we Jones. Um, we Jones, you know, have a good time um, on YouTube. You know, we have some fun, honey. Okay, I like the clown, but yeah, that's too far. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, where the hell is your character at? Where is your integrity? Where is your morals, your values, your principles? Or do you have any? You can't have any. You doing all of that. You don't do this to another human being. You don't try to destroy somebody that you so-called once admired. 
But that's what these people do. And they are called, you know, demonic spirits. It's it's really real, you guys. That's why when people be like, yeah, you know, you got to open up. You can't open up with everybody. You can't even trust people in your family half the time because they got demonic spirits. They have unhealed trauma that they haven't worked out. They are not the greatest version of themselves. When you are the greatest version of yourself, you watch how you treat people because it actually means something to you, you know, but these people, they have no empathy. That's why they can, you know, smear your name, talk about you like a dog. They don't care. They're nonchalant. Oh, well, next they line, line up their next victim. After they didn't blew your shit up, they go to the next person and the next person. Yeah, that's a heartless person. I said they gonna figure it out. <laughs> Some of y'all did. But the thing is, today is D Day. That's what I'm gonna call it, D Day, because I'm. The Bible says, "Let not your good works be evil spoken of." And when that joker took a positive thing that I was doing, blessing people, because I ain't seen yet where he don't bless nobody. He can make y'all send some cash out and stuff and say he was blessed. I don't know if it went to them or not, so don't ask me. But I post my receipts, and I really bless people regularly, and some of them I don't even post, okay? When he took my $300 giveaway and used it. Took your damn giveaway? Damn, can you come up with anything of your own? Okay, that's another thing. These people are not original. Always stealing. Always. And there's like no conscience about it. It's just like, oh, well, they shouldn't have let me know what they was doing. That's what I went through with somebody. Look me dead in my eye. You just shouldn't have said that in front of me. Oh, well. I wanted to slap the shit out of motherfucker. <laughs> let me calm down. Child. Uh-uh. To come at another female create content creator, and I don't care who's right or who's wrong at this point. Hey, Lauren, I don't care who's right or who's wrong. Oh, so he got some type of beef with some type of female content creator? Is it misdiagnosis, you guys? Y'all put it in the comments. I don't, I don't know who we into it with this week, child. Okay, it keep changing, child. So I don't know. Some people said it was caramel rail. So, child, I don't, I don't know. At this point, I don't know because I don't know the ins and outs of it. I don't care to know the ins and outs of it. But I do know that you took something I was doing that was good and you tried to make it dirty. And then you tried to backtrack and act like you weren't talking about me. Yes, you were. Stand on your thing, my boy. Stand on it. Stand on it. Yes, you did. Who else had made a $300 post that y'all know? Giving away. Saying, where he could say, I hope you win the $300. Come on now. Y'all ain't that. I know y'all. Y'all ain't that naive. So you took that. And my word tells me, don't let my good works be evil spoken of. So, somebody said, stand on business. Hey, Bunny Blue, Bunny Blue, I'm about to drop the shirt right now. Stand on that business. I'm about to drop that shirt. It's already made. Hey, bring my charge. Oh, here it is. Hold on. Stay in your face. Because that's what's been happening. You've been playing in my face. You've been playing in my supporters' faces. While you out here doing the very thing that they are against anyway and why they fell in love with me. Because they saw so many people playing in my face. While I was doing good. And you're doing the same thing. Now, flee Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan, because that's where you are from this day forward. I don't see you. I don't hear you. Don't y'all send me nothing about nothing about him. Matter of fact, I hope y'all unsubscribe and unfollow him like I did a long time ago. That's what I hope y'all do. Because one thing I don't do is I don't play about no demons. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Okay? And the principality and the spirit, the demon that's in you, that's what I'm coming at today. But I just came at it with some receipts. That's all. Come on, girl. And I know I could have been saying something, but y'all know I don't move until it's, until I feel led to move. I've been seeing the shade. I've been seeing all the extraness. I've been seeing all of that. I've been seeing you trying to turn my people. I've been seeing the male ain't did nothing for me. All the stuff you've been saying, y'all favorite. And that's, that's another thing. These people will steal from you, steal your ideas, copy your ideas, and then they will turn around and act like you didn't help to influence certain decisions in their life, okay? They will turn around and take all the credit for the ideas that they stole from you. 
So I went through that and child, when I tell you, I was like, say what now? You done lost your damn mind. You crazy as hell. The person also told me, yeah, I think you jealous of me. I'm like, you ain't got a damn thing Miss Robinson won't. Okay, I don't have to copy and paste people's identities. I have one of my own. Okay, the same one you tried to copy. Okay, yeah, they'll steal your your vocabulary words. Okay, yes, your vocabulary. Get a dictionary. Get a thesaurus. Yeah, I, I work hard. Shit, lazy as hell. This is not good. This child, I can't even get through this child. I'm just clutching my pearl. I can't believe that it went this far. But you can believe it when, you know, you are dealing with these demonic spirits. I want y'all to be careful. Okay? Be careful with certain people. Don't let people love bomb you. Make people prove themselves to you. Melody is a good one. I wouldn't have been talking to his ass like that. I'm sorry. I, mm -mm. Nope. I don't be talking to people like that. I love the people that support me. I appreciate it. But we not about to be, well, Brandy, what you doing? And Brandy, uh, about this. And Brandy, uh, and brand new. And child, uh-uh. I, I don't give a damn what it is, child. Uh-uh. I'm not answering all those questions. But you know what? Melody was trying to be nice. That's a part of her business. Do you see what I'm saying? She has a lot of loyal supporters. Um, but I hope in the future, Melody is, you know, more careful. And I, I believe she will be her and Dawn and Miss Van, honey, they go, they're going to move a lot differently. And it's sad because there are people that really are genuine about their support of Melody. They're not trying to weaponize any information against her. <sighs> Okay, y'all, her live, it keep messing up. Don't have the nerve to say you will have your homegirl pull up on Dawn Michelle. How dare you? Oh, now you threatening her. You didn't already recorded her. Wow. Wow. It seemed like he, he built Melody up just to tear her down. And you didn't have to build her up. She already up, nigga. Okay. That is bad. Oh, child. You know, let me tell you something now. I'm going to keep it a button. I read you. Know yeah, this. I already know. I'm going to keep it a button. Play with her if you want to. Play with her if you want to. And don't have any mandated reporters on the line. Brittany, you work in social work. Get out of here. Don't be telling my profession. Are you a mandated reporter? Look, Brittany said, honey, what I got to do with this? <laughs> See, I ain't even did nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you got a report when a child isn't that old. Yeah, you is. I know you are. So let me tell you, somebody just pull up and do what? That part. Let me tell Miss Mary said I wish she would. Let me tell you, like, I ain't trying to be funny. Let me tell you something. Don't Michelle really. Y'all just don't know. I pipe her down a lot. She is that person. Leave Dawn alone. But anyway, don't play with her. But um, mandated reporter. Think y'all know where I'm going with this. DM me if you're a mandated reporter. Because the same way you've been coming for me. Whether or not I should be on my show, whether or not I should be doing my job, baby, I'm coming for yours. Because I'm tired of hearing about these kids being on your dog on YouTube and you exposing them in that way. That's not what you do. What? What? So any mandated reporters, DM me because I got the location and the address and we can make the call starting tomorrow. Oh, child, they said Dawn is from Chicago, honey. That's where Debrett and Lisa Ray from. Listen, they don't play in Chicago, honey. I like Chicago, though. You come from my Love their airport. My job, I'm coming for yours. 
Yeah, my mama said, wow, they don't want another dog. Y'all know my mama don't even say too much. She's a woman of few words. But she even knows. You don't want another dog, Michelle. So that threat right there, I would, if I was you, I'd chill out. Miss Van just keeps saying, honey, I don't do get all. <laughs> I don't do get all. The get all. <laughs> Oh, child, this is giving Selena and Yolanda teeth. I mean, I'm just saying, honey, that's what we all thinking. That's what y'all remember what happened with Selena, child. Be careful, Melody. This is crazy. This is out of hand, honey. Okay. Oh, child. He about to lose his job. Mandate the reporter see me. Check not checkers all the all day every day. Look, Melamina, I love y'all. It's been real. <laughs> it's been real. I love y'all. Hit up my story because let me tell y'all, standing on business, the shirt already made and I'm dropping it. I'm gonna drop it in the next 10 minutes. Period. Y'all already know what's up. Love y'all. For y'all who don't know what's going on, I'm sorry. I just hope y'all enjoyed it. I try to make it a little fun at times too. You did good, girl. You dropped them receipts, honey. This is a lifetime movie waiting to happen. Okay, it's already happening, honey. It's just you guys. Oh, it's I just have a bad spirit in my body like. But you know what? Like I always tell y'all, people will show you their character in the end. They will it's always go take time. You know? It's always go take time. I try to make it a little because I'm just bad. I want to go to the You ain't a wolf, but you still laughing? Okay. What's up? This is the truth. Good. So, anybody who don't really know what's going on, so sorry, but um, I still love y'all so much. <laughs> I love y'all so much. I'm not addressing this board no more. Let's see what the people think about this. Listen. So one person says, this man secretly hates Mel for no other reason than she is the woman he wishes he could be. He was trying to use her for as much clout as he could, then planning to slowly pull her down and destroy her. This dude is creepy as hell. Yeah. Now, the person says Melody is hilarious. Yeah, the fact that, you guys, she's able to have a sense of humor after all it is, because this, this shit is crazy, okay? Oh, child, they in the comments talking about AL is giving Lifetime movie vibes. Yes, he is, honey. The black version, honey. Okay, y'all know we don't really... Black people, I ain't trying to say black folks ain't crazy, because, you know, they are. But we don't normally do all this. Is. He may have a poster of your ass somewhere, you know, but it's, this is a lot. But I noticed it when, uh, and I had a, a suspicious feeling because I kept hearing from him, you know, saying in his videos, oh, he know people on production. Oh, he know this. Oh, he know this person that know Melody. Oh, yeah, that's, and see, that's what happened in my situation. That person knew a lot of the mutual people um, that I knew and then began talking with the people and like, it's that same energy. It's that same demonic energy. And uh, some of these people, you guys, they will pretend to be, you know, holy and, and, uh, and sanctify, honey. They will, they will tell you that, um, they are these good Christians, but yeah, they could be evil as hell. Just watch people and they ways. Another person says male's discernment kept her away from evil. Another person says I too had to stop listening to him after I started hearing him being so critical of Melody. That is literally you guys what they do. Like when they come in with a certain mask, they are highly favorable towards you. They admire you. They congratulate you. They compliment you. This is the love bombing stage. Okay. So they are just so impressed with you. You can't do no wrong in the beginning. And then, um, as you begin to put up more boundaries, um, and that's what it sounds like. That's what happened. He began to go around her team and, 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 
infiltrate her in that way. Oh, okay. I can't get what I want from you. So I'll go to, um, what's the next best thing? Your friends, your family, your makeup artists. Oh, I'll try to sleep with, with, uh, this person. That way I can get information. These people will perform good in the bed because they know that sex, um, you know, it's, it's a weakness for some people, you know, and it, it can really, um, manipulate how people feel about us. They may not know us, but once we hit them sheets and they, they perform real good in the bed, then yeah, that, that, that'll make that person think I love them. And he was really on one. Okay. He was, he went to her mother, her manager, her makeup artist. Yeah, you was up to no good. That's that's too much. But there are men like this, you guys, all the time that do this to women all the time. Um, and just like that last comment, they said that he began to get critical about male. There is a stage of that where they don't want to hear anything, uh, about you, anything positive, anything that you're working on. They didn't stole all your ideas. They didn't smear your name, but they will nitpick every little damn thing that you do and try to act like you're not on their level. Uh, because remember you didn't put up some type of boundaries and they don't like that. They don't like the word. No, they don't like, you know, they don't like any for you to have any standards, you know? So, oh yeah, he, he definitely, um, I see the stages of all of this. So he got critical. And then that last stage is when the mass totally drops. They are into it with everybody around you. Um, they even probably wanted to turn some of these people against you. Yeah, they're like really crazy. They're crazy. But yes, yeah, a demonic spirit. Somebody says, male, don't give your enemies your energy. Well, I don't even want to finish that because she had to address this. Sometimes, guys, people have to address stuff. They are only human no matter how much money anybody got. We are only human. And if we have an experience, we got to talk about it. We got to, uh, you know, address you. And I'm glad that Mel pulled up and she parked. Okay, she turned the motherfucking car off. Okay, and said, honey, I'm going to be here for a while. So listen, but she uh, got his ass together. Another person says, I'm sorry, AL lost me when he did the funeral service for Wanda. I don't like Wanda, but it was too mean spirited for me. Another person says, yes, that's weird. I'm unsubscribing from Anthony's channel, period. Melody, you are absolutely correct. Um... Woo, child. Another person says people really need to check themselves. I saw grown women laughing at his antics when he called Wanda and Tisha for no reason and made these childish sounds. Like, how old are y'all? First thing he did that turned me off was the Destiny situation. Not because you may not like Destiny, because she was beefing with Mel. And that's another thing they will, you know, try to get cool with your enemies or they always like to be in some type of drama and they are very, um, observant on who you have a problem with. So him coming for destiny, knowing Melody and destiny, they had issues. He played on the fact that a lot of people don't like destiny. Do you see what I'm saying? And a lot of people, that's why I always tell y'all, what do I always tell y'all? Be, try to be objective, no matter how much you dislike somebody. Now, of course, if, if they ain't bullshiggity, then stand 10 toes down in it and explain why, but be objective, right? Be objective. Not because you may not like Destiny because she was beefing with Mel. That does not mean you take away your morals. He going through the close closet and shelves, and that was intrusive as well. The more I watched that video, the more I said, oh, hell no, couldn't subscribe to him and barely watched him. 
Yeah, it's a uh, um and what's so bad about it is he's very talented. He's very charismatic. He has, you know, what it takes. But I wonder does he really believe that? Because you wouldn't try to copy and paste somebody's identity like this. It what it says is a lack of confidence. You know, like I told y'all, a lot of these people are, you know, they on the fast track of YouTube. I came um, back in 2016 and we was original with our shiggity, giving you talent, giving you, you know, good commentary that is thought provoking, that, you know, makes you think, makes you want to uh, be the best version of yourself, Want make you want to be you know, a better mom, a better friend, you know, we, we try to inspire, you know, there is still some, you know, real genuine content creators around, but there are those now that I, I see they are on the fast track and they are using, you know, Melody's platform. Now I haven't heard of anybody else doing what he did. Cause I do feel like, you know, people, they love Melody. You know, they have the right to love Melody. I told y'all I'm not a mellow meter. But, you know, there are people that love her. And they're not going to the lengths that he's going, though. But, yeah, I, me, I'm the type of person I want my channel to be built off of my talent. Because I actually have it. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I have talent and I believe in my gift. I really do. And I don't need to use anybody's platform and, you know, to grow. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's kind of popular now that people are kind of doing that. And they're kind of doing that. But, yeah, hopefully she don't get no more crazies. You know, like that, because that's just too much, honey. Okay, shit, I'm trying to see what the people are saying. But, honey, it look like, uh, that's it, honey. The people just think that he crazy. Okay, the people think that he crazy. Have you unsubscribed from uh, Mr. AL? How do you look at him now? Put it in the comments, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl, brand new, and I will check you guys out in the next video.